上から。
Stand up, please. Hi. Down kick. High kick. Switch one, knee, drop like forward. Two, three. Yeah. So knee upwards is very Japanese. Knee into urinary tract points is much more fucking out. So by spinning the body, you have a sympathetic, if you stand straight, by striking into the point, the body rotates. This allows us to enter into grappling mode. So if he's in a fighting stance and I strike the point, that the hand opens up in different points. So we're not concerned with straight area, we're concerned making your opponent move side to side more, okay? So if you just begin, 30 seconds, and we just go, H, a knee, a seven, pick up speed a little bit, everybody good practice, okay? Hands, hands, hands, you know? Zuki, hands, hands, Moral point that runs on the inside. We use a lot of the kicking. But we never really kick in a cutter. We're always straight forward. When we defend, we're angular. We're going to do a hard kick. But what we do is we, we kick to where the point. Yeah, that's what we call medium kick, where we kick fairly fast and we stay on. So I'll go very, very light. So what we do is as we kick, we stay on and the weight stays on. Just relax. Okay. okay, that's a point. Okay, so point kick. Just stay on a little bit. Okay, it's, it's a different feeling. So what we do is the leg goes through. So we want to shift our weight back, 
rotated body. Just stay in. You feel it enters. It enters upwards. So just a little the kick. So slow. One more time. Just from this position, we're just here. Itch and back. Itch and back. So you want to stay on a little bit. Itch and back. Right? Nice and light. Not too hard. Good traffic. With your partner, please. Easy. And you kick, rotate the body back. You're watching Kinjo Sensei doing this kind of move, lying across. What happens is you're striking with your thumb. You're not really striking with fingertips, but with your thumb. So if he does throw a punch, we carry the punch, and we enter into the throw grab. You stretch your leg up. The thumb goes behind. We turn the leg. The thumb goes behind the throw, and then grabs for support. And that's basically the fight is over. Okay? Because it's a different feeling. You'll experience a different feeling. It's not a feeling where you can't breathe. It's a feeling where you feel your body, somebody shutting it off, okay? So we want to practice what we call a thumb hook first. So from the punch position, sidestep or block, or if it's a face punch, we use a parrying punch, we enter upwards, okay? And he, if he's in low position, when I squeeze, he goes up automatically. And this is almost like judo kazushi where you break the, see how your head just tilted forward? No, your, your head tilts forward automatically. So when, I, when I'm here, and grabs it, same, and then we grab it. I can feel your pulse. Okay? Okay? Soft. So I can preset the hand like this. And then all I want to do is elbow his hand and rotate my left foot back a little bit and I take him down. Okay? It's a practice form, Kote Gaesh, Kote Gaesh, Hakido Technique. You want to break, if he does, he has two options to fall down or stay there and have his wrist broken. So he elects which one he would like to receive. Either way, he comes on a short end, I hope. So from the punch, this is called a waving block. Okay, and what we do is we pull it down. So it's like a hook, so his head always moves forward. But be careful because you hit very hard. I press up, he stands up. I bring hand forward, and from here, I strike, rotate forward. Okay? We just start with that technique, please. So the palm and close guy is strike strong. Okay, rotate back, anytime. The other hand, right, I use the elbow, forward. And then when I'm in this position, you can use strike, and rotate back. technique we're soft he strikes and move through always and then we use a body rich hand so Japanese Hato is here okay some people do it here we do what we call a walkthrough just point forward nice very soft okay so as he strikes we absorb if he punches again if it makes no difference we in the body okay so when we strike that point okay in contact, we want to speed, speed movements only. Okay, so I, my, my favorite student, I don't want to hit him, but we strike just a little bit of weight. Okay, we just put some weight behind the technique. Uh, all right, go ahead. We'll go very, very easy. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So, contact, because spare contact is about punching. So if he throws a punch, I'm concerned. Yeah! I'm concerned about scoring a point. The faster I go, the faster I come back. In score contact, if I punch and drop my hand to stay here, I don't get a point because the punch must return here. Okay, I'm in karate. I want to strike, put my weight forward, okay, watching my head, and I want to enter and stay there. And the energy starts appearing only a fraction later. The initial shock is minus, like a wave going through your body, because body's made 96% of water, so it's, a, it's a, like a wave shock. So we hit, and that stays off. Okay? So that's how we get a knockout. If you go harder, I'm not going to hit you harder, but I pull it back, nothing happens. I'll be even faster. He's still standing, you know? So sometimes we have to go a little bit slower. So thank you, sir. So all we want to do is from the punch, a basic punch, we parry the technique, and we take the outside point. But we're not concerned with this. We're concerned with a good movement. So I want to move to Mr. Evans quick. Right, we point our hands forward. And if he stands up, our hands go in position forward. Let's try it nice and slow. Thank you very much, sir. So let's count it through. So watch, please. From the punch, one, parry, two, enter. Okay? Nice and slow. Let's try it. Anytime. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block. Block.
kick, and then I kick after, which is okay. It's a good balance exercise where he punches again, and I kick, and I deflect, and I have any kind of fall through. That's okay. You know, that's okay. But we really use our feet to have more appendages, more, more area. So if he throws a punch for me, when we do basic movements here. We use our foot to press for the shoulder to control the shoulder motion. So maybe we'll start with that basic movement. So from a basic punch, carry, always strike slightly downwards. Just look at me straight. So I want to make sure that he can't see me. Okay, so I hit him, hit forward. Press the shoulder a little bit. Strike back if you want, rotate. But not the elbow, everybody goes here like this. If he stands up, I can go flying over. Okay? So when we step over, if you're not that flexible, pull your opponent down. Step close to the shoulder and just control. Okay? From here we grab the hair and all we do is we just rotate into better stance. Okay, so hand is high. When I step in better stance, he's tied in. Okay, so Itch, knee. You can practice some horseman punches too. Okay, that's optional. So let's try it, please. Everybody up? So what happens when you strike, my elbow touches his shoulder, and I press down. Up. Okay? So you can make him as short as you want. Okay, and if this doesn't work, press the elbow flex. Geo point. So lower, lower, lower. Step across. In, close. This is superb. This area is just wonderful. Step. And forward. Okay? Let's try this. Thank you. How are you doing? Three. <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, try it. Nice and nice. One, two, contact with the body, take it back, cross, forward. Exactly the same position. Don't grab the hair, turn your body towards your opponent, grab the belt if you wish, inside press, drop, lift, up, feet through, lock, put pressure on the elbow. Can we try that? Okay, let's, let's do it. Okay, go. Thank you. Uh, thank you all for coming. I want to take you down. This position. Step. He doesn't roll. This is almost like you're doing a rise kick. And sometimes we grab with one hand, which is okay. We grab with the other hand, which is okay. Some people don't even grab. They deflect. And they attack otherwise. You know? So they're, they're taking a tremendous opportunity and giving it away. In Okinawa Karate, everything Jujuk is an entry point for what's called Yakute grappling. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And these, these turning exercises are just passing hands. So we're going to do natural. He has a face punch. And all I want to practice is... One. There's a face punch again. I just want to practice two. So we rotate the hand. Very simple beginning. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay, so all we're doing is, as he punches, we practice rotating this position. He punches again. We practice rotating this position. And we'll do a variety of control to practice my body control. So step. This is very soft. Okay. back and forth, but please don't use your leg. So, left foot, left foot, left foot, left foot. You know, left foot, feels many times, let's go. Every day in your classics, so maybe you make a low block, you know, it's the same hip exercise as it is. So we want to just do two very basic traps from regular position, always natural. Okay, now we start from here, but it doesn't really matter when he throws a punch, when we catch, rotate, basic kote gaiesh, and we just want to practice just a basic wrist flex. Okay, wrist flex, more advanced version, pulling the head back where you put more stress, so, so nice and easy. 
higher if you wish, and then he'll give a good tap when I squeeze. Okay, just once. Use your palm maybe. Perfect. Because I'm going deaf, so I'll oh, just go. Okay, so back. So on one, on the second pass, we just change places. On the second pass, when we take our opponent down, we want to immediately blend into this position. Okay, so without grabbing. So knee goes close, he's locked in. He can probably take his hand off, but in a very unnatural way, and then I grab or I just flex the shoulder. That hurts. Okay, so we want to make sure that we touch together. So can we just put it together, please? Slow. One. Forward, cheat if you wish. Back, forward, whichever hand you want. If you want to, if you want to rake it back, more pressure. If he lifts his head up higher, I can squeeze and choke at the same time. It's just up to you. Second punch. Okay. A lot of people do a straight arm. I, I always compress it forward. I like I like the S shape. Let's take a person down. Much easier. Now from this position, I need to go that way slightly. Allow it to fall in proper position. Okay? Step forward, easy press. Okay? If you're more skillful, reach down, pull the hand back, and you can use both hands. If you're more skillful, you can step in, use the shoulders forward, or we can go back here and go back to our punching exercise. Always work on a keep it action punch. Okay, let's try it. Let's go. The more basics, everyone. Here, just roll over for me. Just right. You and kick. It's dangerous. Okay. You fall down, he falls down. Right away here. Roll. You can, you can roll. Bringing forward, back, air grab, articulation from the sides. If he throws a punch, just foot punch, any punch, forward. If I want to flex this way, we just use the hair grab as the articulation. In, in sports, you cannot hair grab. The other use is falling techniques. There's a lot of falling techniques. If he throws a slow round kick toward my face, okay, we always block. Someone can always go down, forward, and they attack from the floor. They like to be underneath. So if he extends, he can just do front kick toward me. <coughs> so if I take the kick and drop your foot forward, and we have a lot of kicking techniques where we can inside points back to the urinary tract just with your heel. It's very, very simple technique. So maybe I'll finish with one of the more advanced techniques. So if he grabs my wrists, and if he does a headbutt toward me, so he would send me downwards. So rather than fighting, one of the techniques is we take the hand and we go down. We take our left foot back. And we do a front. This is so many different things. This is a kick to the mastoid nerve. Okay? And you can knock the person out just with your feet. Okay? So you can just hold them in the down position. Tap out. Perfect. Okay? So let's do that one technique. So there's a variety, variety of movements. So just watch again, please. Okay. From the grab, okay. if he strikes toward me, okay. he brush. I grab him. If he pushes me back, maybe he kicks my chest, upper chest. Right, where I lose balance, I just go down with the balance. Grab, press together, push down, and sit. Okay, can we do that? Boom. See. Boom. Boom. Each. Ouch. Boom. Do. Yeah, so 
バッグねえWe're going to work on drawing the Gakazuki out. Okay. So, one way of drawing, drawing the Gakazuki out is actually to pull, to actually to fake here and to try to get his reaction. So as, he, as I pull, hopefully he'll react there. there. So everyone understand this? So, so the principle is just moving the body forward, giving him the impression that I'm coming in so he can hit me. But what I do is I put the brakes on as I pull here and stop. This is a bit slip actually. So what we're working from here is just this movement here. To move with your, with your opponent, just put this here and get that. Get that there. Here, so you're moving. Here, and then you're in on top of them. Again, once more. One. Pull. Pull out. Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready? Ready?
Hadi sen. Hadi şik. Hadi go. Hadi ok. Hadi işte. Aç. Kuvat. Hadi. Hadi iç. İlk. Hadi sen. Hadi şik. Hadi go. Hadi ok. That does a one, one, two, in, Gakazuki afterwards. But we'll work on the kick, because we're working legs now. So come up, one, here. One, two. Now I'm not going a big distance round afterwards. I'm not going here, here, here. Too long, he'll punch me. He'll get wise to it, give me a good punch in the ribs. What I am, shift here, and just move. Get away, if he, if he blocks both and comes at me, I can move away. So from here, the technique is up. Faking the urine wash. Give them the impression you're going to kick and come round. Punch it afterwards if you need to, but concentrate on the kick. If you can't do it, if you find the jodan hard, do the two down the wash. Yeah? Here, one, two, into the body. Us? Everyone got that? So it's left stance, left stance, not toe to toe. Left stance, front leg. He's stepping in to punch, block the punch. We would strike and finish off at this point here. He's going to step back performing Yamazuki, a mountain type punch. We step into the action, we could turn and spin him off from here. Okay? He's one bunkai. Or, we go back to that first initial. As he steps, one. Okay, I step away for the first Yamazuki. One, I can block this action. If he pulls out quick and performs another action, bang, same, bang. Yeah? This action here. Yeah. This also can be used to block anything. It could be a kick, a kick, same. Are you stopping a kick? One, two, three. One, one. One, one, step, punch, yes. round. Yeah, just hold on to my shoulder. And now from here, just stand on my back knee with both legs. Both legs. And then you can use, no, keep going, just say that. And you can use your front knee to push down, okay? Off you go. Over the top, and now with the hips down. So that's from there. 
Okay, so this hand is there, but it's hips to hips, hips to hips. And then of course from here, Okay, position, down, stand up, person can't stand up. When he does stand up, there's energy, stand up. And what we're doing is we're using his energy. Stand up, but now I can't do anything because I'm out of control. I'm in control, stand up, stand up, stand up. There's the opening, we drop down and come through. We're not going to do that, we're going to do a similar one. Same position, stand up. And now as he stands up, we're going to step forward this way and this way. So this is the same technique we did at the beginning. At the beginning, we did that technique. Now we're going to do this. Now, as he stands up, there's the opening, there's the ski, back foot through and throw. Those who try and do a forward roll, if you can't do forward rolls, don't worry, you know, step away. But if you can do the forward roll, that's Around, Sp whoops, spin them around. Hook. And the feeling should be, just punch, stop, and hold the finger. Is they should always be at the end of their extension. That's the whole purpose, is that the purpose is always And at the end it's going to happen. Okay, can I pull you for a second? Please? We're not going to do this. Moving all the way down. On the outside. That's the say that's it. On the outside. Lift the hand up. That's what's called the ski. Come down. But you always want to have that feeling like.
Hey, son. She. Hey. I go. Hey. I look. Okay. okay. This is back to back. Huh? You know, this. Ish. I need. Ish. Hey, son. She. Go. Look. Ish. Nick. 
himself so uh, these are the weapons that he has made and his uh, kata is called Kubagawa Nichio Nunchaku. Stop. 
One, two, one, two, one, two, and down. And you want to pick it up to, and down. Okay, so on your own, you're going to stand up, you're going to start really slow to start off with, and then pick up the speed from there. Okay, so you want to have at least six going really fast. All right, here we go. Stand up, we'll walk around, help you guys out. Go. And you're just going to throw each one of those punches however you feel. Get used to throwing the jab, jab, jab. From here, uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. Hook, hook. And then start getting used to putting them together. Jab, jab, jab, up, up, hook, hook. Us. Itch.
Francisco. They've never seen another position like a toe. So his toe is making contact. Okay? So he's got tremendous powers like using a new you know, pose. Okay. okay. And back. So can we just show it defensively? It's like a punch with a kick or something. That's a typical defense. You grab the foot, you immobilize it, and you move it off or you break the ankle. Either way, so these are some of the original drills. So we're gonna practice. We're gonna try to do the toe kick and then capture and break the foot. So the other person's foot, not your own foot. So the movements are circular. First, you practice slipping, then you practice catching. So all the movements are very kind of circular in action. Kick. Yes. 
so which you do it's the keep okay you punch that's punch okay no more see Yes, hi. Conditioning for our styles is so uh, low, loaded up your sleeve. Where's again? Where's again? It's missed it. Oh, very good. Thank you, thank you. 
we shot it anywhere. Anywhere, just anywhere first. That's right. Anywhere. So what I'll, I'll show you a little bit of advanced because they're just doing very basic things to show you that. the nose, support the head, and when I push forward, he will easily stand up with me. Okay? At this point, if I lean back, the chair will break his balance, and he can fall backwards. I don't really want to do that. And then we do this mystical movement, which is called clearing of the nose. Okay? It's like sword eye, you know, chabuti. So nice. And you just start with a basic point, stand up, and then from here, move back. And if we were on a, on a mat, I would continue the pressure and just turn back and gently point my hand toward the floor, okay? So let's just begin with basic fundamental techniques. So if you'd be kind enough just to grab a partner, please. All right, slow, slow, slow, slow. slow. slow. So first, first inside. Inside. Then roll. And right. Then roll. Right. right, yes. Stand up, quick. Very good. Good. Not hurt. Stand up. Right. Stand up. Feel that? Yeah. Okay. Push back. Maybe lose your balance, okay? Feel <laughs> sorry, okay. but you have to press in. Okay. Okay, now it's called Agos Chin. We have a point underneath. And all we want to do is just basically press the head up, upwards, or you can grab the head this way, push forward, or use the two fingers, and it's just, just to unbalance your opponent pushing them back, okay? So it's nice to relax. If he throws a punch, rather than worrying about fighting and pushing, we, we always have morality in the crowd, which is just, just push the person forward. So the, the point makes them react to the technique and they fall over. So the technique, if you just take your thumbs and just find the spot underneath, so we press it, we're just squeezing this way. You can use two thumbs, you can use your fingers, okay? A lot of the, you know, kind of have this kind of movement, and sanchen kata, okay, that's, that's going, that's digging upwards, okay? It's just digging upwards into the chin. So let's try it very slowly, please. Just a couple of minutes. We move back. Quite often you're trying to remove somebody. Can you just tuck your chin in for me? Right, so we, 
I, I picked one up on it with not too much hair. We have different hair grabs. A lot of our karas, kata called seipai, has a lot of hair grabs. There's a tremendous amount of, in Japanese karate, we tend to block and then we hit the target. And Okinawan karate is always grab the person and hold them while you're striking with the other hand. And in addition to striking, you, you have a pulling motion back, always to maximize the power. Okay, so we have a lot of pulling techniques. So one of them is if you grab top of the hair, there's even skill in grabbing. We don't grab on top. We shoot our fingers through. If you grab top of the hair, you have limited range of motion. So you go to the front of the head and snap back. Okay? And a basic strike, this is brachial plexus point. Okay? Okay, so in, in Chinese, it's called triple warmer 17. So if he covers very tight, so we have initial distraction, control technique, pain. And at this angle, he easily gets knocked down. Okay, so if I put the weight forward from I'm not gonna hit you very hard, but what we do is we put our weight forward and we drag the opponent down. The secret to this is to stay on for one second. So when we strike and I stay on for one second, do you, you feel that? Okay, so you go through. And it's not hard, but we, in karate and sport karate, we tend to withdraw things immediately. Okay, can you go faster? Okay, can I go faster? Okay, faster. In reality, sometimes you want to stay on. Okay, so if you just try the very basic drill, so if he's sitting forward, as I move forward, come forward and just gently hit for the brachial plexus. Let's try it, please. Okay, he's cheating. He's using uh, what he calls standing fist. It hurts already. But if he does a regular punch, it doesn't go in. The opening, the, the nerve is protected by the two knobs on top. If he uses one finger, okay, oh, that hurts. Okay, that, that hurts quite a bit. When he adds the pull with the other hand, okay, I, I don't really want to fight with him anymore. That hurts. Okay, more ways than one. I need a new partner, please. Okay, this, this hurts. Okay, so you have to think about the turn. So when he does the turn, okay, easy, he grabs my hands. So now he's done it very, very strong. So I, I put emphasis on, on the hands. What we want to do is we want to do a basic elbow strike. Just move forward. Nice and relaxed. So, but first we just do basic drill, then we start aiming at the various pressure point strikes. So if he grabs, again, what I do is I shift my weight, okay, the wrist is very strong, but the elbows are mobile. I look, and if I look at the brachial plexus point, I put my weight inside very slowly. Okay, can we just try that? Nice. Here first. Okay. And wait, wait. Here. Leg deeper, here. Deeper. Outside. Right. Outside. Higher. Push. So, so, so soft. So the knee back a little bit. Okay. Thank you. me. Ow. Okay. Can you, can you, can you leave your hands on? Excuse me. Let me just do this real. So as soon as we turn, okay, he resists. I want to grab right point and just practice turning back. Okay. So let's just do that a couple of times. One. Grab. Elbow is on top of the shoulder, not down here. And just pull back. Okay, so we'll do that a couple times. And then once we're in that position, this is exercise one, exercise two, and then he wants to just slide his hand down, pull my hands back toward and back. Okay, perfect. Can you get you move away from the chair? No, no, just thank you. Perfect. And all I want to do is just practice this drill. It's very simple. So if he steps with the other foot, just getting the elbow up, forward, step in shikodachi, and I flex, and that's just a body, we call a body weight. Moving forward nice and relaxed. So the whole exercise is one, he turns me, exercise, he unturns me, he grabs my hands, okay? I step, I strike to the brachial plexus, and I'm going forward. Let's just see him come on. Okay, can we try that? Okay. Let's try it nice and easy. Each, knee, son, she, each, knee, son, she, each, knee, son, Block one, top of the elbow. We never block here because the elbow, natural force falls back. Top of the elbow, slap back, right it back, crack. As I spin, I go pull forward. He should be right in front. Can we try that? Enter from from here. So 
if he has a tight fist, it's impossible to grapple. By striking toward a head, you send a warning shot, the body relaxes. And then you have a variety of techniques. But I just really want to work on rear elbow. He throws a punch toward me. I'm stepping off line, controlling to the outside. That's right. So just nice, just relax here. And we stay on. So we stay on target. Now, I'm not going to hit hard. Okay. So if I crank this a little bit, right. I'm stressing the nervous system already. So now you receive the pain even much more yep. so. Okay. So sorry about that. That's okay. okay. Let's do it. And you feel kind of a little bit lighter. So, so if you go one, two, three, I'm not going to get you. It goes down, go down here. And then when you hit, it's easy to, to get a knockout. And the, the, the secret Okinawa knockout is one, and then press, break your plexus. So and you stay on. That shuts down the It's like shutting of the stove. <laughs> Lights go out. Okay. No, no problem. Here. Okay. Then I continue the pressure. pressure. Step punch. Just step forward punch. Just step forward punch. Stop. Okay, perfect. Now, can you can you go slow motion through his leg for me? And we continue the motion. So, so up one more time. That's without any power whatsoever. It's a body rotation. So you know, can I cut one of the principles is always use full body rotation. Don't hit with your leg. You know, always use the turn into a technique. So one more time, go. So if you can push your opponent down, go just with with a touch. When you kick that point, you will basically be strong. We can't do that because you can actually knock the person right out, and it's, it's one of the most dangerous things. It's it's almost a principle of acupuncture where you're sending energy, and you think, well, if you hit the head, it's very dangerous. Okay. But if you think about a nervous system, a nervous system is faster than anything in the world. Okay? Faster than British Telecom. Okay, well, maybe that's not a good thing. But instantly hits forward. So when he hits here, the brain receives the shock anyways. Can we do maybe 10% kick? Just a little bit light. Okay, so very light. Okay, so he kicks into the moral. Okay, a little bit quicker. So you're knocking up on it out with a kick. So, Iken Horosu. Okay, that's okay. one point or one hand kill. So that's why there's not that many techniques and a lot of the cars are very short because if you do it right, you can knock the opponent forward. So thank you. We're not going to work on it. You can kick each other and throw up afterwards. But I just want to show a different control. So if he grabs my hand and I try to do a control, any kind of rotationary control, what we do is we shift our weight to the outside. So that's this is a very unique Okinawan kick. And what it is, we hit the femoral point with our heel. A lot of people say, that doesn't hurt at all, you know. And so, but we just, we just hit the femoral point and the hand slides forward. So. I should be kicking somebody else, not you, but okay. So as we move forward, I, I try whatever it is. If I hit, he blocks, or worse yet, he grabs my hand, perfect position. So what am I going to do? Okay, I can do suicide. So I just want to take my foot forward and back. Okay, this is one of the secret of canoeing kicks, okay? And you can knock the person out with your heel. Can you just try this a couple of times? So watch the position. He grabs. I try to turn. Okay, nothing happens. I move. He grabs my hand, okay? So I put my weight forward and I kick into the femoral point inside. And what happens is, secret point is my knee reinforces his leg, maximizing the power, and then we go back into a grappling hold. Let's try this, okay? And the knee point, which is okay, but the knee goes down and comes back without any. We want to hit higher. So we're actually, that's a, mer that's a meridian line. That's a meridian line, which is, that's, when you hit the meridian line, it's a different feeling. So the, the interest of throwing a person goes out, okay? Okay? So I try, <laughs> nothing. Okay, sir. So we, we just move to the side here, move to the side here, any point, and it's just. Oh, you feel that? Yeah. So, oh, right. The inside. So we hit to the inside. A okay. very, very painful point. Okay. That's right. So it, always rub a little bit. Okay. What well, you need is a joint. So, so if you want to need to bend, that's okay. So it doesn't do anything. It goes back, you rebounce it back. So we're in a moving position. I'm up. Again, I like it so we rake it back. So let me just do it like that. All right, that's the light. Higher, the higher I go, the more it hurts. Yeah. Okay. I got the. Yeah, do that. <laughs> hey, like my normal reaction of a body, but if he if he grabs my hands and he holds straight like this, even more so, and he kicks me, he, he, he oh, that hurts so much more. Yes. Right forward, you rake to the common perineal point, which is on the outside, is also extremely painful. So we rake that point, okay? And body spasm. So if we add it, I'm not gonna, 
If we had any other pushing type motion and we enter through weakening the nervous system and we end up in a push, that's why the person goes. And a lot of people do not have that initial technique and they say, well, this is fake. Well, this doesn't really work because you're not presetting the fighting sequence. So if he's, we're in fighting stance and he throws a front kick toward me, if I cut the angle, he always drops in the point of kicking. If he kicks again, he always drops in the point of kicking. So you can use a heel, toe. I don't, I don't, I have a Western foot, so my foot for toe kicks doesn't work very well. Okay. Mr. Kinger, if you ask him, he'll go like this and his toes will literally disappear in his foot. And then just, it just, you can't see his toes. So it becomes like a solid weapon, you know, also from years of banging things with his fingers and his toes, it becomes very much a synthesized, okay? So if he throws a kick, another point area we work on is the, it's called the urinary tract point, okay? So if he throws a kick, we use our foot just to push away that point. And we always have a spinning-like motion forward. So, I mean, that's kind of uniquely Okinawan technique, so we're not going to really dwell on that too much. I'd like to start working on just a simple two-partner defense, okay? So, can I, can I get you up, sir, forward? And we'll just do this very simple drill. So, if he, we'll do, we'll do basic shoulder grab. I just want to just do basic roll and control roll, okay? So, we just start from that maybe three times. And then this gentleman would be kind enough to punch me in the face. I just want to practice chambering my knee, not even kicking, okay? Just chambering my knee. So, one. And if he kicks, if I can pick up my knee, I just want to hit the same point in the leg, okay? It's nice and relaxed. So, slow. Okay, I guess we would call this a low hook kick, okay? It's not really, well, I'm really concerned with the angle. I have no idea which way he's going to stand. So, I have to kick across the leg, okay? just want to end up be able to do that. Can you just try it back and forth, please? So, if we can do a short lock and then hit the femoral point with your heel. Let's try it, please, okay? So, can we get into Over, high, back. So body yes sir body. yeah right so it stresses the joint okay. yep okay we also do yep. strike from there okay let's start with that we have angular kicking techniques if you saw you know this kind of kick before if you just change the angle here most people kick for a joint by kicking upwards it causes the body to spasm downwards which allows us to do a real grabbing motion you know so it's going to preset it's like you know preset your opponent in the correct manner okay um just step in punch again okay straight side kick the inside point makes your opponent go down, which allows us to do grappling movements from the inside. So you have to, your opponent's like a puppet, you have to pull the strings in the right way before you actually do the technique. Okay? So I like to do a second drill, which is just very simple. He does a punch, and I just grab, and there's going to be another person on this side. So can we just get a volunteer sense of energy for it, please? I see, just back. Okay. And can you start a punch toward me? I want to project your opponent forward, nice and relaxed. Okay, so let's just start with the one more time. Very simple drill. So we did this already. But all we want to do is from here, we do we favor this kind of palm strike, okay, which does two things. It hits on top of the jaw and blinds your opponent. Okay, and as soon as he comes in, we're practice projecting forward. Let's just start with our basic drill. Okay. Punch down. So his, I'm not going to his face goes back. So he can't see you for a second. So, so if you can't see me, he's not going to punch. Okay. Let's start with that. I can hit this opponent with my body. He's got his, his legs behind him. This opponent with my right hand. If I'm lucky, uh -oh. I'm lucky. I'm lucky pretty, quite often, but it's all right. So we have to make contact with both opponents. So just nice and relaxed. So when he sees one strike, punch, when it comes forward, you got to grab. So I want to run my face here and continue the motion through and use not a hard kick. I'm going to start to break your plexus point. It's so easy. So I move forward. Try that nice and slowly. Let's go. Super. There you go. Super. Good demonstration. More so than uh, maybe.
行きやすいよねダメですよ、かけなさもう。よし、はい、組んで、はい。はい、はい、スピード、スピード、スピード。To do it to break it because you won't be able to comb your hair tomorrow. Then, here inside, here the lock now the lock is you do this, the shoulder works together. The thumb turn, okay? One, one inside. Here we land. The break fall is with the feet flat. And the hip raised. That's why he doesn't damage his kidneys. 
who is fine. This is how we land. And this thumb is elevated under and twisted. Just a touch, just a touch. Here, look. When it goes under the arm, it's this way down, but backwards. The thumb is here. Pressure, just turn the thumb towards me. Just a touch like that. Okay, down. You get hop, up, down. Up, down. Forward, and throw. Aikido. This one is this. Once more, jump the stomach. From here, lock this way. Okay? What's the thumb? Feel the difference now. Yes. Then we come round, round gently, and we throw. But there's no carpet, so we do that one. Take them down like that. All right, Step back, low block one. Step back, middle block two. Step back, outside block three. Step back, high block four. Good. Now, uh, do one more set so we get a lot of. And step back, low block one. Ready for two, middle block. Three, outside block. Four, high block. His job then is just going to run and he's going to try to put his, his front, his uh, jump in. And then you land. And then you stay right there. Uh, Don, please. And from here, he steps back, low block one. Middle block, two. And we do exactly the same thing. He goes back, we do the other one. First one. Yeah. One. Two. This is all twisted here now, you see us. Can you see? So the pressure is here, look. Okay? That, that bone there. Okay? That's the first one. Second one is, if your arm is quite loose, now I'm moving that elbow bends, you see? When it bends, it comes over that way. Bend, bend. Bend, no bend. Here, bend. It's good that, isn't it? Good it. Pull the elbow joint back, lock on, down. Or you can go like that. 
slack playing cards you got. What hand have you got? <laughs> Isn't it? All right, all right. Open the circle. Make the circle bigger. <laughs> Push. Put the thumb in the, in the neck or under the ear. Push away. See, it gives you this because it's in a pressure point. So that will give them a, a few seconds of grace to use somewhere else. So I'll put it on, you push me out. There. You see, now our left hand is free to give me whatever she wishes. And this with children because they don't understand the severity of the attacks. This one, just a simple technique like this, can break the collarbone, the wrist, and dislocate the elbow. But it may save your life. It may stop a mug of nicking the only money you've got to live on for the rest of the week. Can I take him to the police station? Of course I can. You can take him like this. And it's simple. It creates pain on the inside. I'm using joints. This way is no good. It bends the joint. So you go this way. So if you take him to the police station, take him this way. Sorry, I'm sorry did it first, but I have to get these points yeah. over. Yep. But you can't control someone that's attacking you, that doesn't know anything like that, you know. <coughs> he's a big guy, he's really big, he's, he's gigantic. He's bigger than you. So you can use him in another way, just with simple finger things. Nothing to do with power or pressure. If I want a big guy down, uh, just make a stance, you know. Zen cuts it out. Do you do karate? No. Oh, see. That'll do then, that'll do. It's near enough, isn't it? Now, you, you're a strong stance. Right. right, is that strong? All right. If I'm going like this, here, this area, I can't get him back, can I not? He has shown you that I can't get him back. But if I do this, I get him back. All I'm doing is this, what your dad does to you to make you go to bed. Get to bed. He got no, I'm not going. He goes, get to bed. I'm doing, right, Laurie? So I'm doing the exact same thing, strong stance. This, this area, watch. See, your nose, all they're doing is a girl going through the door and you're all turning around. Have you never seen somebody walk away? This is typical of young ones today. You cannot concentrate for two minutes. If I were playing a disco music, oh yeah, it's great this. You don't learn anything like that. This is to save you when you get older. You smack this. See what happens? Do you, you see the body how it reacts from this? This together. Is, I'm not eating your heart, am I? No. Honest to God, I'm not. I'm lost. That's how easy it is to put someone down, of what a size and weight they are. But it's important for a child to learn how to control size and weight. It's all right moving forward and doing punches and that, but when the guy comes from behind and he gets all you like this and he's putting a lock on, what good is something you haven't learned to cope with this? You must learn an all round thing. That's why you go on seminars. I'm concerned with, with this part of the, stopping this part of the body. We're not really concerned with that punch or, or the technique. So if he steps back and if he does a round punch, he does a good round kick. So tra traditional karate is considered blocking, so you have a block, you're blocking something. Then there's a style called Kenkai in Japan, Kenkai karate, which is kai and fighting style karate, where they're lighter, he kicks, and you just want to check. Well, if he falls through, fall through round kick, course, we kick this way. So we follow through our kicks. So if he does a point type karate kick, where he kicks and pulls back, he's not really hitting me anyway. So if I put my hand forward, I can stop his kick because that's his natural line of the body. He has a follow through kick. And if I would put my hand forward, I'll be, I'll be back in 15 minutes with a cast on. Okay, so you can imagine my hand being up here. If he kicks, he would, he would break my hand. So there's no way, that even if I put my weight into it, we cannot block a big bone with a small bone. It just doesn't work. Okay? So when you practice through karate, we practice angular shifting. So karate teaches us how to step in, in positions on the side. So if you would attack with the same technique, I would let him drop. And then it's a pressure point movement. To unbalance somebody. So we use our karate skills to move back and forth, okay? So it's very important. I just want to stress some of the fitting positions or shape techniques. Now they're very strong techniques that are the spin, spin wheel kick, throw the kick. Okay? So we either go up or move back. Okay? So even if 
by a sphincter technique, you're following the flurry of other techniques right after, which is very difficult to escape that. If I put my hand forward, that is the strongest kick there is, you will break my bone. Again, okay. entering up to the point, we, we suppress the power and moving forward. Uh, a lot of size of blocking techniques like uh, open hand technique and goju to cut it, just their face punch. They have takemiki, which is always right in this part of the body, this part of the body. If, if I hit his hand hard, his elbow, just for punching me, would probably hit me in the face the harder I would get. So we had, we were concerned with blocking to the pressure points, which, which are very soft and very rough to me. And also, uh, block and strike become one. So if he strikes toward me, you really don't want to block. I just wait, and when he punches, the real block is, is the body shifting back. It's not really, so we talk about this part as the insurance. This is the insurance. As I move back, he returns, he returns again. And from here, we want to do, just to the eyes, or may grab, and we do a punch. Okay, I'm ready. We use one, one knuckle punch to the eye, eye point, okay, above the eye, so it's just nice and easy. Then basic hand control. This movement itself stuns your opponent. So if I hit both points, we have a light control to pressure point technique. Moving down, so as he attacks, soft. So I grab, I just attack. As I strike toward the Templar area, lightly, same time, not one, two, but same time. I'm not going to do it very hard. Push forward, so your opponent is, is loose. Strike if you wish. Fall through, slide in, control. Watch your position. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Right back to the thumb. These are very strong breaks of the thumb. Underneath? Oh, sorry about that. Press underneath, and we stretch the head. Grab the hand and you have a much stronger lock. Okay, let's hand up. Down block, please. Let's try it again. Yeah. Last one, please. Everybody hold your position in the floor. Eye contact, step back in and right. Eye contact, please. Always look up. Down block, I just prepare with also Tokyo block. As he attacks, I want to control the elbow area. Okay, so it's a good movement, not the wrist, but light. Just make a light opening. As I punch, he does the same movement. So we tend to be in this position. Some schools block where the punch is still in position. So we have a gun theory. Just imagine I have a gun. So when he we chamber block, when he blocks, if I can fire, bang, where would I hit it? Okay? So the block is not complete. And some people are very concerned with snapping noises, things like that, but not body displacement. So he's just relaxed. He's more concerned hitting my hand than would fire somebody over there rather than remain on him. Something to think about, better use of the hips. Okay, so a little bit lighter maybe, not so. Don't worry about the sound, your hand hitting your body. Be more concerned with, with the hip movement. So your hand snap up, very important. So back and forth, please. Down block position, I step back, one. So light, two, light, so hands with three, light. And now from here we enter. There's a nerve here called intercostal nerve. So we use a, a vertical punch just because it fits better there. So as we block, we just want to, just the light control techniques, stretch the hands out. And as I foot sweep, forward. Okay, change the Okay, just, just going to start again from a down block position. So one, two, three, perfect. So we're going to go to the inside foot sweep. As I grab, let's, let's hit the radial point just inside, forward. And as he falls, I should slide in. So his wrist should be trapped forward. Into position. So I want to put stress. By leaning forward at a right angle, in itself, we're already controlling the shoulder. So by adding the hand forward, much more pressure. Okay, so it's very slow. Just light technique. Stress, control if you wish. Move forward, the hand is trapped, light pressure into the wrist. Okay, so let's begin. Thank you, sir. With your partner, please. Count speed. Down block. chest level punch, we do a light middle block, we return it real, two, and as we enter, we strike just slightly rising elbow, and then we drop, so as the elbow goes up, we drop underneath, this is also defense, if he does a punch toward me, we deflect forward, if he punches, if I move forward, the punch slips by, so it's up to you, you can either deflect or not, so the, the rising elbow is not this way or that way, but we have a multi-purpose strike, and then as, even if I don't block, if he punches, slip forward, and we lock. 
passing the hand forward, don't you pull. Collect basic punch. Simple control. So down lock position from the middle block to nice and soft, nice and relaxed. Okay, just think always program your opponent. The head controls the body. So if you stun the head lightly, okay, whichever technique, the rest of the body is very soft. So if he's solidly locked, some of you are very strong and, and you're kind of wrestling, you know, go back to this and just think of a control movement. You can, you can take your opponent down. So always lightly control the head and when the body relaxes. So one more time. Okay, so I'll just start with that technique, basic movement. All we want to do from here is as we step, we just do a variety of controls. But maybe just from this position to make it easy, we'll just do a basic punch because most of the karate practitioners. So we do a hand cover, covers his face. And what I do is I lightly hit, very lightly, but it has to bounce off. So just a light standing punch. So one more time, please. Nice and easy. Okay, let's try it, please. Everybody up. Why watch your fingers? If it's here, we control. If you turn your hand here, we control from a different angle. Point here, we go, you know, just depending on your hand. Is. Okay? Let's begin. Any time. Good. Excellent. Very good. Hand finish. Good. And any time, please go. And he punches, and I go, yeah! And it's great. Okay? So if I want to make it better, what I do is I yell louder. You know, yeah! Okay. Okay. True master, he yells louder than anybody else. Okay? That makes no difference. Okay? So if he punches and I can kill him, yeah! maybe that will stop him. If it didn't work, then it doesn't really matter how strong my palm is. Okay? So this particular technique in Okinawa go Juryu comes from a palm turning. So you see a lot of, whenever there's a turn, the technique is done on this mat. Okay, you're going to see Mr. Kinjo doing kind of very soft, upright techniques. And now he throws a punch and people say, he blocks. Well, why would you bring your hand back there? Well, the other person attacks me from the rear, and I know exactly he is because I'm so skillful, and I hit him in a groin. Whether he's six foot tall, four foot tall, I know exactly he'll put his groin in my palm. Okay? It's very convenient, maybe for the bar later, but not, not really in real life. So we just want to start basic turning things. So as soon as we turn, press down. Okay? We control upper points if you want, even more painful. And then body shifting. So what I want to do is I want to make a perfect low block. Okay? That's what throws in. The throw is from the years of doing pinan shodan and hand shodan and, and take yoko shodan, not from the skill that you're going to pick up in 15 minutes from somebody. Okay, let's try. So one more time. So from basic turn, if he, if he grabs your attack, we have our deflection techniques, softening up techniques, rotate. High, try maybe front orbital control, move back. And just I like to make a low block just because I practice two things at the same time. Okay, so let's begin. Let's, this angle should lift your opponent up. So if we go like this, okay, he, sh he should move. So I can take him backwards, okay, <laughs> this way. Or if I give him oral command to stand up, he will do that also, okay? So just a lifting point. We want to unbalance the body, okay? So, so as soon as we turn, stretch the person back. They should be on their toes, okay? And once they're on their toes, we just turn forward with a good koshi movement to bring your palm forward and down low. Let's try this. Let's do the whole sequence. Go anytime. Good. You got it. Got it? Very, very good. Try to put it together, please. Let's do it one more time. So let's, let's do it together. So as he stands straight, left hand over, right hand inside. So this hand goes over. Good. The other hand hits here. Spin. Okay. Control. Good. Front orbital. Now turn fast. You got it. 
That was excellent. You're doing great. Okay, keep it going. Very good. Great. So from the basic turn, when he unbalances, he will be able to move into a choke position. Okay? So not air choke, we go up higher, just light technique. Okay? That's a conventional choke. If we feed the hand through, when we catch the hand, it puts much more stress on the scapula, and a choke by going sideways instantly stresses the nerve, and he'll, he'll, pa he'll pass out, sorry about that. So he'll pass out very, very quickly. And then when we finish, what do you do is, we should just squeeze the neck a few times, and off we go. Okay, so just very, very, can we just do it from a different angle? From a basic turn, so rather than turning your body, press. Go with your one of the controls, high. Position in, light choke one. Advanced choke is take the hand, feed it through, pull it back, because you're stretching, you're stretching the meridian line, okay? So when we attack this point, it's a link. So by pulling my leg back, it stresses the joint back. So when, it, when we finish, very lightly, very lightly, I just want to give a little rub. And then we go back and forth. So one more time, to both hands. And he's going to knee strike toward me, okay? But we don't block conventionally. He, he, he knees, I don't take the block. What we do is we attack pressure points. So in our system, we hit for the radial nerve, okay? So then we attack for the radial point. Turn, press, head controls, light lock. Second feet through, hook back. And there's very slight pull with my leg, okay? Back, and then we just rub. Okay, can we do that very slowly? Let's do an account. Thank you, sir. Facing your opponent, please. Same thing now. And now when you choke, you want to see if you can rotate sideways a bit. So you keep your leg that way, and then keep your leg pushed back. That way as you pull the other way. There. There you go. Good. All right. Perfect. Yes? Yeah. That's it. Good. Good. Good. Good. That's, that's your point. Okay. Yeah, so there's a strike involved. This is nothing here. So that might go to the point. So when you hit, that strikes first. Hit the point. And then this is just a control thing. So you want to enter through a light strike. So you want to enter with a strike and then lock it up and then squeeze it in. And this, this gives you a better meridian light control. So this stuns, this finishes. 